Kristen and today's video is another Travel Diaries video. Um, if you don't know, Chris and I take a trip all the time um, and this trip was a freebie trip for us. Um, so we just wanted to share our memories of this trip with you guys and for our future uh, memories for us. And we'd show you videos and pictures throughout the video of what we experienced or what I'm talking about if I have them and if I don't I won't answer anything obviously. Um, so let's just talk about this trip. So this trip happened back in October uh, 20th 2017 and we had ended the trip on October 23rd uh, 2017. This trip was because my mother uh, me and Kenna's mother was get uh, was getting married and they decided that they wanted to get married in a place that they both really loved um, it's kind of like my whole family loves that place so they wanted to get married in Colorado so we got this trip because we were gonna be part of their wedding and that's kind of the reason and that's kind of the reason why we got this trip <laughs> So let's jump into so day two of this trip of my mom getting married in Colorado. So um, I don't really remember what time we ended up waking up. But I know it was about probably about eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the morning. We ended up waking up um, and we were getting ready to go and stuff. And I looked out the window and there was white stuff on the back of the window. And we're like, what the heck? So we looked and it was snow. It had snowed the night before. Um, so there's snow all over the ground. Um, again, I think I took some pictures of it. I will insert that if I had that. Um, we were gonna go to a place that my mom wanted to show us. I think it had like a lot of wild animals and my, I was determined to find a moose that was my number one goal of this whole trip was I wanted to see a wild moose so that was kind of the place that she thought we might be able to see a wild moose um, especially the time of the year that we were in Colorado so um, we ended up loading up in the car my mom was like not 100% sure if we'd get to go to that place just because of the snow and ice on the roads and everything but she said we could definitely try um, to see how far we can go and because we have nothing else to do, why not? So uh, we started going up the mountain some more to this place and we got to the place where we needed to turn to the, onto this road. Well this road had been closed off because of the snow and the ice and it had not been cleared or anything. So of course we could only go so far so we ended up having to turn back around. Like I said, light snow is really cool. road was blocked off we couldn't go any farther so we decided to turn back around and head back to the cabin um, um, and on our way back down to the cabin we ended up stopping at a place called Pruder Canyon now if you've watched a travel diaries of the last time we went to Colorado um, me and Chris tried to find this place because my mom had talked about it so much and she loved this place and it was so beautiful um, but when we were about it people didn't know what it was and we couldn't find it on a map it's definitely one of those things that you just either know if you live down there um, 
or people know about it to live in the mountains they know about it but like other than that people don't know about this place and it's crazy how people don't know about this place but basically we ended up getting to see it my mom ended up going to it she ended up pulling on the side of the road and we all got out and we took some photos and videos i will insert them now We loaded back up into the car, like always, um, and then we went back to the cabin, like I had originally said. Um, my mom, uh, we ended up then going down to my mom's friend's cabin, um, just because Kendall wanted Wi-Fi, and we did not have Wi-Fi where we were staying, but there was Wi-Fi in my uh, mom and Dave's cabin. But we did not get Wi-Fi, so we had to go down there and just use the Wi-Fi a few times. Um, and then when we got back to the cabin, we were looking through their, uh, there's like a bookcase full of like books and there was some games. And one of the games that we found was called Deer in the Headlights. Um, and we were curious about what this game was. So we of course read the rules, we were going to play it, so we ended up playing like three rounds of this game and we all won a round and it was a really fun game. I highly recommend it, it's on Amazon for like $13 I think. Um, I will definitely probably link that down below. You should totally get the game, this is totally not sponsored, but it was a really fun, fun game that we all played, we really enjoyed it. Afterwards, we ended up like taking showers and like getting ready for bed. We ended up watching a movie that I had never watched before, which is crazy because this movie had been out for like five years maybe, um, and I'd never seen it. It was The Hunger Games, so I ended up staying up and watching like the first Hunger Games. I think I watched part of the second one and ended up falling asleep. Um, of course, we all went to bed. Um, and so that ends day two of our travel diaries adventure in Colorado. Um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you've ever been to Poudre Canyon um, in Colorado, and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the bell notification so you're notified when we post every single Friday. This is Kim Supernova, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!